what would you say to new adjusters to, and this is where I'm just going to cut you loose. I just, well, you said, you did say real talk. And, uh, real talk. Let's hear it. Talk. So and new adjusters, you'd be successful in this, fee, in this work, you know, uh, what are the, what's the good, bad, and the ugly of claims? And how do they, how do they navigate that? Right. So I like to be positive, right? And I love this industry. How do I know I love this industry? Is well, I like to tell people I'm an insurance brat. When I discharged out of the military, <laughs> my dad, right? My dad, when I got yeah. discharged out of the military, my dad was an independent. So, and my sister was an in insurance. My mom was an in insurance. So I am, yes, a brat. Um, so I started out as a cat adjuster, right? And my dad always told me, it's like, always have a growth mindset. Always be looking for opportunities. Um, anywhere. You have to have an entrepreneurial mindset, a growth mindset. Um, you are an independent contractor, and you have to be licensed to do it. So you should be set up as a business. I'm not going to give you any advice on that. Talk to your CPA. So your work is your brand, right? So, you know, if you're starting out as a plumber, you're, you're going – you just don't go out and get uh, start a business. You go out and market, right? So if you're starting a business, you are your business development manager, right? So like I hear you say all the time, it's like you get all these licenses, all that, and you sit there and wait. I don't wait, right? I would not wait. You find opportunities. Um, and you have to develop business. How do you do that, right? So you got a license. I look for people who actually invested it in themselves. Take your course, right? Take other courses, right? You're spending money, your investment tells me that you're serious. You're just not doing this as a job. You're looking to grow. So I look at, look for that. Um, and all that. And uh, I've heard you talk about associations. There's, there's a ton of associate, there's local associations. You're, you know, if you're in a, uh, a larger city, you have a claims association in that city, right? like Dallas Claims Association, go, you know, go sign up to that, go to their CE courses. Um, there's uh, smaller conferences that people really rarely hear about. Uh, one I've been going to since 2014, great conference, love it. We actually sponsored is What the Hell from the Zell Law Group. And that tells you a lot about the industry, appraisal process, what's going on with that. Um, they have engineers, roofing companies and all that speak. Um, it's a great conference. So just to start off, it's pretty much, it's a mindset, right? What, what are you, what are you trying to do here? Are you trying to just have a job? Are you looking for a career for growth and you have to be professional? You got to look it, sound it, act it. So that's pretty much the first thing. So okay. there's a lot right. of others I can tell you, we can be here for hours. So, yeah. All right. Well, let's, let's, let's narrow it down a little bit. So, all right. So let's, let's assume that they, they took my advice and after watching this, they, they're taking your advice and they're getting right. licensed. They're, they're doing the, the prep work that they need to do. They're taking action. They have that growth mindset. They're ready to serve the industry. Right. Once they get, once they get their first opportunity, um, you know, maybe they, they're going to show up with, uh, Let's say that they, they show up with like a foundation of skills, you know, they've got an exactimate level one or two, and they've gone through fast track to deployment or when they went to MoCAD or something like that. So they have like a basics, right? Right. Take us, take them from there to be successful on that first, those first claims assignments that they've been given, whether it's, you know, CAD or whatever it is that they get. So if, if it's, let's just say it's a large cat, um, this is what I was taught and has worked every time is a lot of times on a large cat, you have a, you have your direct supervisor with the firm. And then you may have, most of the time you have as a larger carrier, you'll have a manager, staff manager for that carrier. First thing I do is I introduce myself and I, I ask, Hey, you got 10 minutes. Sure. And I'll sit down with both of them. I'll say, okay, what's your expectations? What's your pet peeves? Right? What do I need to look out for? Any advice you can give me? And then I say, Okay, I'm going to earn my right to work clean up. Yeah. And then we do everything they say, and then you will be on cleanup. If you perform, you will be on cleanup. If you don't perform, you don't. 
right? A lot of adjusters don't want to do cleanup. I can tell you, I learned, I put most of the stuff I learned what to do and what not to do is from cleanup duty, looking at other uh, adjusters' sense. estimates. I was like, man, I understand exactly what's going on on here. Dude, I like that. I'm putting that in my toolbox, right? And I still use some of that things. So you're doing it with both. You're, you're, you show that you care, you want to do a good job, you respect them and their position, right? And all that. And number one thing is shows you care, which I can see can be an issue in this industry is some don't just don't care, right? You have to care. This is a customer service industry, right? Number one, customer service. And then you have to identify who are your customers, insured, carrier, and the firm. Because you are an independent contractor, right? So um, we're your customer. Treat us like one. Yeah. Okay. That was all well and good. But what if you haven't even gotten started yet? You're not quite sure like what an adjuster license is or even which one or ones to get. You don't know what gear and tools to buy. Do you even need a drone? In short, you want to know how to get started as a claims adjuster. How can you start adjusting claims? For money, right? We put together a comprehensive seven video series explaining in detail, step by step, the complete beginner's guide to getting started as an independent property adjuster. This is where you want to start. And the best part, it's completely free and you can get started watching it right now at adjustertv.com slash start. In the meantime, YouTube has picked out a special video just for you. See you in the next one.